Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create a layout for our Locademy fragment. So let's start it. Go to app, then resources under the layout. Uh, as you can see, there is a fragment notification. Okay, so let's uh, just rename it or you can either use a new one by deleting this one because we not need this uh, fragment in our project so you can just uh, rename it you, how you can rename it just you have to go then refactor and rename okay now you have to add fragment locate me okay fine now press refactor As you can see, our refactor of fragment has been done. Now double click on it to open. Now remove this text view, we not need. Okay. Now, first of all, set a background color. Um, our color name is background also. Okay. Now take a nested scroll view. Okay, now give a width 0 dp, height also 0 dp. Set fill viewport to set scroll bars none. Okay, make visibility for now visible. Let we will uh, make it visibility on. Okay, now use the constant property. Okay, let's make a top to top parent bottom to bottom parent right start to start of parent and end to end of parent now close this stack okay now give give an id to our next scroll view uh, let's next scroll view okay now inside this scroll view let's create a card view layout okay Material card view text. Material card view. Now width should be match parent. Height take wrap content. Okay. And give a margin. Sorry, total margin. 10 dp. Hope you find. And set a corner radius also. Uh, 10 dp no five dp is enough okay and uh, use a card compact padding view okay now close this tag and uh, inside this card view we have to use a constraint layout okay constraint layout and uh, make its property match parent width and uh, height wrap contain okay now close this tag and inside this constant layout we have to use three things okay uh, let me show you okay. uh, first is ip so we need a text view to show our ip address and uh, second is country so we again need a text view to show a country and third is for our country image so for showing a country image we will take a image view right so we have to define three things inside this constant layout so first of all take a material text view fine now uh, give width wrap content height to take 50 dp okay and set a margin top 10 dp you can see, see it uh, live changes there what is what is going here okay so you should understand why we are made a padding a margin anything okay so and now uh, as you know we have a background file in our driver which is the border this one so we will also set it as a background okay 
after the height uh, let's me see add background and background is border okay as you can see it is has been done okay good now after the border uh, you should add adjust mm, adjust view bound so there is not coming we will later use for and uh, now use a text that's our app name okay now, now you can see app name is stick to the uh, top but we need in the center of this image so set the gravity to center okay let's say gravity and uh, make it center now it is working fine okay and we'll set a text size 15 dp is enough okay and after text size take a text color text color uh, let's say purple 500 fine now you have to make a constant property okay to fit its device width okay so first of all make it start to start of parent then end to end of parent okay now top to top of parent it has been done um, yeah it is good and now make this text close and uh, you should give a id to this our text view because we have to set ip address dynamically from programmatic so uh, let's give an id okay let's uh, name it tv id right you can give any name to your id it is totally up to you now as you can see it is looking good and uh, also we need a another text view to showing a country code okay so just copy this one okay now paste it after this closing tag now let's name it tv country okay and uh, remove the background we not need here background okay. and uh, set its uh, constant property top to bottom of this id but one text view okay so let's uh, delete this line and uh, set top to bottom of this one now it is working fine great and make a text size uh, let's say 20 dp 20 sp okay fine and also change the color to some other colors uh, let me check which colors we have mm, yeah we can take a pink color let's take a pink color yeah fine and also make it style bold okay take a text style bold now it is looking good and after this text view we need a image view so let's create it take a image view and give a height width to uh, uh, give a width to 256 dp okay uh, let once we have to add our dimension so let's uh, add it there okay dimension name and uh, let's uh, height 256 dp okay and uh, let's uh, 256 and uh, another and uh, height we will we will use 192 and uh, let's uh, give a value 192 dp fine now define the width to height to 256 fine and uh, define height to height to 192 fine okay yeah it is good and uh, 
we have to set this image view after this text view so use this constant property okay just copy it take it here and use this id because we have to show image after this text view right so copy this id and paste it here as you can see now it is working fine okay but uh, there is no image showing so for a placeholder uh, we can create a text src color src sorry uh, let's uh, src make purple 500 as you can see it is working fine uh, and uh, give some margin probe 10 degree now it is looks fine okay as you can see this is our ip address this is our country code and this is our country image hope uh, you are understanding it well now it is working fine uh, give a id also to our image view let's name it img flag right because we have to set a dynamic image of flag of country and now close this image view tag okay. now it is fine uh, just keep the cursor on it and press alt plus enter and set content description to your app name okay now it has been fine <laughs> yeah it is looking good and also we have to create a progress bar before fetching the details from the api and uh, okay after when api response is uh, get we we can set the visibility to go to our progress bar so let's create it uh, after the nested scroll view progress bar uh, give width and height wrap content wrap content and for now match its visibility visible okay as you can see it is created but we have to make it in the center so let's create a property constant property top to top parent bottom to bottom of parent and start to start of parent end to end of parent okay as you can see it is now becomes in center now close this progress bar tag and uh, also give a id to it let's uh, name it progress bar okay now our layout part has been done successfully but uh, for now we have to hide this uh, next scroll view okay so let's uh, set this visibility to gone okay if you do not want to set visibility gone from uh, layout you can also set it uh, programmatically okay there is no issue and it has been done okay so this video has been completed i will meet you in the next video